What is up, everyone? Um, today I'm doing a little. This is it's a little question thingy. It's a. It's just a series of questions that I'll be doing today. And um, you know, it's just to let people know what's um. You know, let people know what I do and why I do YouTube. While also answering some questions, um, so uh, we'll start off with the questions first. Um, one second. So here we'll start. We'll start on why, why, uh, why I do YouTube. I actually I do YouTube. Well, I started doing YouTube videos mainly because my little brother was doing them. And I thought oh, it could be fun, you know. Just making some videos for people that might want to watch. But I also am writing songs. Um, I, I'm writing songs to get, like, with what I like, the style of music I like. I, I'm i writing songs, like, you know, to give people that like what I like um, some songs to listen to. Um, so, here, we're going to get started on this question. These questions. Um... You only get three words to describe yourself. What are they? Um, probably, um, weird, weird, definitely, um, probably because, um, I'm weird, like, I have a weird sense of humor. I have a weird sense of style, too. Um, like, this sweatshirt I have on is just literally, like, a bunch of cartoons and stuff, video games, everything, so I'm weird, um, Funny, definitely funny. I um, you know, I make everybody in school laugh. Everybody in my classes, I, I make them laugh and everything. So definitely funny, and then probably probably driven. Not really, not driven in all things though. Like for the things that I really enjoy doing, like um, baseball and you know, writing songs and you know, doing videos. I'm really driven to do those. So those are the three words: funny, weird, and driven. What's something everyone else loves that you secretly find overrated? How come? <clears throat> Everybody loves, but I find secretly overrated. Pit Vipers. <laughs> Definitely. Pit Viper sunglasses. You know, everybody loves them. A bunch of bunch of kids in my class have them. I just, I don't really get them. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what's the point of having bulletproof sunglasses? What are the odds that somebody's going to come in and try to... Sh Try to, from right here to here, what are the odds that somebody's going to try to shoot you there? Plus, I just, they, they look kind of cool, but paying $80 for them for one pair of sunglasses is kind of ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, definitely those. Would you rather have a home on the beach or in the mountains? Uh, on the beach, definitely. I don't know. I like the beach. I like the sounds of the beach, like seagulls and stuff. I like the... You know, the, the crash of the waves. Plus, I like the, the view of a beach. Some people like the like the overlook over the mountain, like over the trees and everything, rivers and stuff. I just like the beach. I like the sunset and everything on the beach. So, definitely a house on the beach. What kinds of things really make you laugh? Dumb humor. Like, really, really dumb stuff. Um, Like, I, I find it funny when people fail. Like, it makes me feel bad, like... You know, I feel bad for them because, like, they just tried to accomplish something. And then they, like, they failed really bad. So that kind of makes me feel bad. But it's, it's funny, like, the like the fails of, like, somebody trying to do something stupid and then failing at it because it's, it's dumb. Those don't really make me feel bad. That makes me laugh. Um, If you could jump into a pool full of something, what would it be? Orbeez. Orbeez are just, I don't know. I just like Orbeez. They feel cool. If you could be... Any fictional character, what would you be? Mm, fictional character. I'd probably be Thanos, honestly. I just, I think that his intentions were right. <clears throat> like, what he was trying to do was right. He just wasn't going through it in the best of ways. But he's, he's also super powerful. He can do whatever he wants. Um, have you ever had a crush on an animated character? No. 
What is the worst lie you've ever told your parents? Hmm. See, I don't really tell big lies to my parents. Like, I lie a little bit. Like, if I, like, if I do something, like, if I, like, eat something I'm not supposed to or whatever. I don't know. Like, I take something I'm not supposed to. Yeah. I don't really do that. Which habit are you proudest of breaking? None. I don't break habits. <laughs> Actually. None. I don't, I don't break habits. I have a habit. It's there. If you had to pick an animal, which animal do you find the sexiest? Mm. I don't like these questions at all. If you had to pick any animal, what would you, what animal do you think is the sexiest of all? Hmm. Sexy animal. There's not really a lot of sexy animals. One second, I gotta do something. Okay, so I looked it up, and uh, apparently, animals, humans are mammals, but not animals. So, um, sardines. <laughs> Definitely, I don't know. Oh, just flamingos. I like flamingos. Flamingos are cool. Would you describe yourself as naughty or nice? Why you say so? It depends on how I'm feeling. Like, if I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I really want to be annoying. I really want to be mean. I'll be naughty. Like, I, I won't really care. I'll do whatever I want. And, you know, it doesn't matter how it affects people or anything. It's just, I just do what I want that day. But relatively, I'm, I'm kind of nice. I, I'm kind of moody, though. Like, really moody. Like, it's not a moody where it's like, I'm usually nice. But then there's times that I'm, like, really mean. It's a moody as in, like, I'm usually not really the nicest person. Like, I try to be nice, but I guess I just can't. I get annoyed easily. But yeah, definitely. Um, what's your favorite joke? Oh God, let's tell it. Um, I'm not monetized, so haha, <laughs> YouTube, you can't demonetize me. Please don't, please don't kill me. Okay, let's do it. Um, favorite joke. Okay. Um, so the one day, um, one day little Susie's on her way home, right? And um. This little boy comes up to Susie on her way home and says, Susie, I'll give you $10 to climb up this flagpole. So Susie does it, gets her $10, goes home and tells her mom about it. Susie's mom says, honey, that little boy that gave you $10 to climb the flagpole, honey, when you climb that flagpole, he's just trying to see your underwear. So uh, Susie goes to school the next day. On her way home from school, little Johnny comes up to Susie, says, Susie, I'll give you $20 to climb this flagpole. So Susie does it, gets her $20, go home, goes home and tells her mom. Susie's mom says, Susie's mom tells her, honey, talked about this yesterday. Little Johnny was just trying to see her underwear when he climbed the flagpole. Little John, little Susie says, yeah, mom. Well, you see, today, today I pulled a quick one on him. See, today, mom, I didn't wear underwear. <laughs> I, I don't know why. It, it's one of those things, it's like, but today I, like, covered his eyes. It's one of those jokes that, like, I like the jokes where you think it's going somewhere. But then it goes somewhere else. But where it goes doesn't make sense. I like that. Those are what. That's what makes me laugh. What's the weirdest nickname you've ever had? Krispy Kreme. What would be much better if you could change the color of it? Poop. <laughs> Definitely. If poop was green, it'd be. Actually, no. Never mind. Poop is green. Mm. I mean, it's not normally green. Um, water. Water would be a lot more appetizing if it was, like, green or blue or something. Do you think double texting is a big deal? Yes. Yes, double texting. If you don't know what double texting is, here, I'll show you what it means. Basically, I take this, some, um, you know, if I take my phone here, you know, I take it here. Is it, it's not going to focus, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I take my phone here. And, like, let's say I type, um, let's say I'm going to type to my brother, um, okay, so let's say I go into my brother's contact and I s I'm going to type, do you want to go to the party or do you want to go bowling? So what that would be is, 
Check this out. Do you want to go to the party or, and then like right before you go, do you want to go to the party or, do you want to go bowling? Like right after or, you send and say or, do you want, do you want to go bowling? Like this, right here, where it's, hold on, I'm gonna focus on right, right there, where it, uh, where it says, do you want to go to the party, or, do you want to go bowling, okay, hold on, it's not, hold up, gosh dang it, it's not, it's not gonna say, but yeah, it's, do you want to go to the party, or, that's one message, and then the second message is, do you want to go bowling? That's really annoying, though. I hate double texting when somebody's in the middle of an idea, because they'll send it, and then wait a couple seconds for you to reply, and then it's another message, and then everything just gets super confusing. So, yeah, double texting is a really big thing that I actually hate. Oh, no, my, bro <laughs> my brother just texted me back and said, what? Hold on. I'm doing that question survey on my YouTube channel. One of the questions is double texting. See there, there? I just double texted my brother. The questions are on my phone. I shouldn't have turned it off. But yeah, definitely double texting is a huge thing. It really gets on my nerves sometimes. Um, if your life was a movie, what would it be called? Um, <clears throat> what are those old movies? Mr. Bean, like, like, Pee-wee's Big Adventure, you know, Pee-wee's Big Vacation. Goob's Big Mess, definitely. Goob's Big Mess. Uh, what was the last concert you went to? Oh, God. Um, Winter Jam, like, two years ago. Winter Jam is a Christian concert. You should go to it. Um, what do you wish you were really good at? I wish I was really good at, like, um, basketball. Like, I play basketball, and I'm okay at it. I'm just not fast. I don't really... Like the quick movements and everything, I just not good at them. Um, if you were a dog, what kind of dog would you be? Probably a um. If I was a dog, what kind of dog would I be? Probably like a um. I don't know, Chihuahua, something like that. Some some like small dog. Pomeranian. I'd be a Pomeranian because I jump and I yip. Um, what's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? I'm gonna look up spontaneous real quick. Okay, so spontaneous means like, like just an impulse. Um, what's the most spontaneous thing? Okay, so funny story. I was at my grand's house. I think for like Easter or thanks. I think it was for like, it was like a year ago. I think it was for like Thanksgiving, like two years ago. But I go up into her bathroom, and her, like, her house isn't, like, old. It's kind of fashioned oldly. And right beside her sink, there's a wall off to the left. Because, like, here's her sink, and, like, here's her wall. And on the wall, there's a little shelf, like, right above the sink. And there's, like, this really, like, really old clay dog cup thingy that had, that was empty. And, um, so, it's sitting there, and I go to dry my hands off, and I elbow the thing and it starts falling and it's like right here and the f like I didn't even notice it I noticed that out of the corner of my eye reached over and like caught it and just put it back up not even thinking not even thinking that I needed to grab it my hand literally just like popped over grabbed it and put it back up I didn't even have time to react in my brain yeah um if you had a time machine would you go back in time or visit the future hmm I'd go back in time, definitely, 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 I'd go back in time, just to change a few things that make me a little bit more famous, <laughs> make me famous somehow. 
What was the last show you binge watched? Pinky Malinky. It's on Netflix. Freaking watch it. It's great. If you had to rename yourself, what would you choose? Hmm. Uh, something like probably Travis. Travis Walker, definitely. Just keep the last name, change the first name, change it to Travis. What's your favorite item of clothing? Shoes. I think shoes in the pinnacle of the outfit. You can wear clothes from Walmart, but as long as your shoes are nice, you're, you're, you're set. If you could be enemy animal, what would you be? I'd be a Galapagos tortoise because those things live for like 180 years. Um, but yeah, so there's my there's my thing. But so yeah, you learn why I love doing YouTube. I love doing it because I like entertaining people, I like bringing people good content. Um, plus it gives me something to do. Um, I make I like to write songs. I haven't actually dropped any songs. But uh, they will be dropping on SoundCloud, definitely. They will be dropping soon. I just got to figure out a way to, like, get the beats and everything. And, you know, just record them. So, yeah. I just like making songs to get people, you know, to give people something to listen to. Good stuff. Um, I just like making YouTube because it gives me something to do. And I entertain people. Bring people good content. Um, so, yeah. But until next time, please, you know, just go ahead and... Built, built the bloody lock button, my, with the laser beam thing. But yeah, do hit the like button, like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe. Please hit the like button. It means the world to me. Um, but yeah, go ahead. Do what you do. What you do. If you're really in love with doing something, you know, try your hardest to do it. Be motivated. Be driven. And until next time, peace out.